Hello Aces, this is Ace Kuma Fan and welcome to Mission 9 of our Project Wingman playthrough. Monarch, this is an op just for you. You know I don't like admitting this, but mercenary pilots in this world are among some of the best. They get more airtime, more time on target, than any of us national pilots outside of the periphery. In truth, you get the glamour we all thought fighter pilots were supposed to have when signing up to the Academy. That, you're making five times what I make in a year. I wonder if that's why you went private, but I don't think you're the type to give that answer. Not to me, anyway. What I'm trying to say is, you're capable. More capable than most, getting this far in. And because of that, we need you on deck for a one-man mission. Cascadia's southeastern deserts hosts the Solana Communication Array. It was a Federation and Cascadian telecom venture meant to expand Cascadia's networking capability, regardless of any thermal interference that traditionally plagues long-range communications. With that facility, communications between various Federation units are streamlined, while limiting, jamming, and interrupting our own. Nothing to say of the censorship abilities that are used to enforce the civilian information flow. This is one of the Independence Force's top targets, however, it's been outside our strike range until now. Due to its distance from our front lines, no fuel can be wasted dodging or circumventing Federation anti-air systems en route. In short, we're sending you alone to clear up the most disruptive defense systems before we engage in a full-scale operation to knock out the facility. You will insert into the Keohord defense region in the Raver Mountains and take out all critical defense systems under cover of night. The defense system is calibrated for mass aerial strikes, but a lone aircraft flying relatively level with the mountains should be able to slip through and take them out. Dismissed. This is the typical infiltration, lone infiltration mission, but it, it does seem like we're gonna have both air and ground targets, but mostly ground. Operation is lone sortie, so yeah, let's get going. Because of the nature of this mission with us going alone, it's only natural we're gonna bring our waifu with us, of course, to make us company. As always, so we're gonna bring the FD-14, because it has a good air and a ground uh, special weapons mix. So we're gonna bring the MLAA to deal with the air enemies, and also the small triple volley unguided bombs. They haven't detected me yet, I guess. That's good. You hear that? Oh, it's probably just one of all patrols, Gordons. Oh, never mind. Never mind. some more crimes. Sorry, sorry people. Skynight is 
beautiful. The stars, the clouds that you can see through. The moon is there too. Searchlights remain on though. Even though I blew up all those targets. Cascadian. Hey Press, I only have one waifu in this game, which is you. It's a single fighter. Too dark to visually ID. It's a mercenary. Huh? How can you tell? The mechs have been using fuel from out of country. She prefer them and it burns an engine differently. I can hear it. Well, there's a tunnel there. Let's do it. You know. When there's a tunnel, you gotta fly through it. It's the Ace Combat tradition. That's a pretty cool runway. Tunnel in the middle of the mountain, like right at the top, actually.
of them actually. All right, you know the drill. Let's do it. There it is. Oh, that's not gonna work out. Let's try again once more from a better angle. It does suck that there is a AA gun or Sam at the end of the tunnel, so see how that goes. Ah, it's just a container. Yes, we're good then. Oh, that's core accordion container. There's yet another tunnel up there. That other mountain. Oh boy. Helicopters. Targets, three targets left, I should say. I almost feel bad, Monarch, for making you come with us tomorrow to hit that communication facility. Especially after what you pulled off tonight, single-handedly. Though that was one hell of a thing you did. And I got a feeling Operation Blackout will need you on point. We have a straight shot to Cascadia Southeast. And, with any luck, we'll have fuel to spare for the fight. Sicario is mobilizing en masse tomorrow morning. Get some sleep. This war isn't gonna win itself. Why are they not acknowledging that my waifu exists? We need to stop the anti-waifu discrimination. That's what I'm fighting for in this game. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Looks like we got some background also on uh, Monarch. So it's implied through the to the comms that he's also Cascadian, right? It's pretty interesting, pretty neat. I wonder if uh, other things about his background are gonna come up later on in the game and maybe answer why, why he's fighting for, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video of our playthrough.